Hi Libra family and welcome to September 2019. The beginning of Libra season is upon us, but first, but first, we got to go through Virgo season, right? And for you all, Virgo season is a deeply spiritual integrative time before your birthdays hit. Uh, before we start getting that big infusion of Libra energy, though, of course, energy is moving into Libra throughout uh, September, including Venus and Mercury being conjunct as they enter Libra, which is pretty wild. Uh, so, and that's happening during the, the Pisces full moon. So, big energy going on there, right? And that's in that's going to be a really, really powerful and magical full moon. You know, of course, Libra, you guys are deeply connected to the equinox. Uh, your season begins with the equinox with this balancing out of light and dark. And so you and you know, you are a sign associated with harmony, with that balance, with finding balance, with finding beauty in nature. And so the equinox is such a beautiful time. And I've been really checking in with that energy for September. The last time we had a check in with the sun's journeys through the year was with your fellow cardinal sign of cancer with the solstice you know the cardinal signs initiate us into each phase of the sun's journey and you guys are no different of course but like i said you know the few weeks leading up to your season are a time of deep integration and the message that came through for me when I was feeling through your energy um, I think is really beautiful because it actually ties to a much bigger cultural thing that's going on but it's affecting you guys specifically which is you know during the agricultural revolution that occurred 10,000 or so years ago where we were starting to as humans learn how to divide up land and use agriculture and raise livestock what started to happen is that okay we could create more food but then we would also have more people we would have more people and then we would need more and we would need more and we would need more and that we lost that sense of being in the moment that came with a different lifestyle of having to hunt and gather which also requires a lot of skill sets you know a lot of knowledge a lot of movement a lot of uncertainty right but it's kind of this lie we've been taught that we get certainty from constantly planning for the future you know harvesting and then storing our grains and storing and storing and you know September is this in the northern hemisphere is this big uh, bounty abundance harvest month where it's the last harvests of the summer we're switching into the fall we're having our last big feast right and this is this idea of this feast and famine I know I'm kind of sounding like I'm going off on a tangent here about, you know, human evolution and culture. But the point being that this is old stuff that we've been handed down for a long time. This idea that we have to we have to reserve and we have to conserve because you never know when scarcity is coming around the corner rather than being in the moment. And with you guys in Virgo season, I'm going to start shuffling here. One of the things that's happening is that we are checking in with where you feel like you're needing to store up where you're needing to know things before they happen, where you're needing to feel sense of security before the things happen. Two of Swords. Speaking of, this is the first card that flew out. Um, I hadn't even looked over here. It fell on the table, and then I looked over. Two of Swords. Not knowing the future, not being able to wield your weapons, not having the potential to run around and be really busy trying to control all the outcomes. And that's the thing that comes with the energy right before your sign is we often, when we're working through that energy, what's going on is we're being asked to pull into the more mystical realm before we come back out into the sun. It's a bit of a transmutation that occurs during that time. And I think that's why that message came up for me. Where do you feel like you're needing to store up? Where do you feel like you're needing to ward off famine? Nine of Pentacles. Wow well-being is there with you, right? There's the mirage that you need to know everything ahead of time and make decisions now. And then there's the reality that you're okay. You're right where you need to be. All is well. If you feel a little slow, if you feel a little bit like you don't want to act really fast on every single project that's coming through your doorway during this 
part of the month before the sun is in the equinox and then goes in is in your sign that's okay it's okay to slow down it's okay to be quiet it's okay to listen in right Seven of Wands. You are listening in at that point to an innate character quality, actually, of like humans on a like a biological, physical level that for hundreds of thousands of years we were much more in the moment. That's actually a part of who we are and how we came to be, you know, moved through the world for a very, very long time. It's relatively new, this whole idea of having to store up and conserve, plan ahead. That wasn't something that existed for a very, very long time. It's, it's, a, it's a birthright. And in, in, in feeling some of that release and being present in what is present today, the image that came for me was diving for pearls. And maybe not in the way that we do that, you know, pearl divers do that now, but um, within yourself, you know, you have these kernels of wisdom. You have these beautiful ideas, these beautiful movements, these beautiful inspired actions that are within you. Queen of Pentacles. But the only way we can often access those pearls is in our calm, centered state of being okay right here, right now, in this moment with no question. Seven of Cups, that has been coming up a lot. This Piscean full moon that's happening on September 14th is really uh, a, doorway, a doorway moon. And I say that because we have that full moon in Pisces. Pisces is already such an initiator. It's the ancient sign. It's the... It's the collective consciousness sign it's a healing sign high priestess and it's having this conjunction with venus and mercury in your sign actually during that full moon so you already have a full moon which is really emotion you know it illuminates and then you have venus and mercury this this vocal messenger energy with this this love based energy conjunct working together in this one of the most beautiful signs ruled by venus and Venus hasn't been with you guys since she was dealing with retrograde energy last year. So coming back around Venus, I think there will be a refreshing energy there. Temperance, balance, harmony, right? There's this sense, though, that this is a really big time of shift and change, you know, and not necessarily in such a flamboyant manner as maybe was happening around the, those eclipses in July, much more in the way we're choosing to dive for our pearls, dive for our aha moments, dive for our downloads, dive for our inspired actions. And for you, it is in a quiet state. Six of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. The last three cards are all focused on balance and harmony. On not pushing too hard, but on also taking actions that mean something, to have value. Um, I honestly feel that this month is going to be one where you're going to want to know your analytical mind, your conscious mind is going to want to know like what, what am I doing in November and December and January? I need to know what 2020 is going to look like. There's going to be this eagerness, this desire, you know, Saturn's going direct again on the 18th of the month and Capricorn sun's going into your sign, which is going to be feeling really energizing. There's a new moon in your sign on this on September 28th, which is also going to be invigorating you and saying, let's go, let's go. Um, and even sometimes when we're in our 12th house energy and we're the sun's in the sign right before ours, there is this hunger too. It's like, okay, we're ramping up for a new solar year. Things are supposed to be moving. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I'm telling you right now, that's not where you're going to get your answers. So like by not putting the pressure on that more externalized go getter cardinal sign way of doing things and putting a little bit more listening time in a little slowdown, it's the slow down to speed up energy that is so powerful that is where you are going to be getting some really amazing results this month. And that comes from a sense of well-being and harmony that doesn't require you to have some granary store of outside physical actions that you need to take in order to feel that you are in balanced harmony. You know, like I said at the beginning of this reading, there's this thing going on where there's one version of you that feels that it's blindfolded, cannot move, can't get answers, and is lost in this forest, and what am I doing? And there's another part of you that recognizes you are okay. You are held, you are safe, you have what you need in the moment. All is well. A lot of times, Two of Swords for me is a protective card. It's like, don't make movements on that right this second. It's okay to sit still and be quiet, 
Maybe you have more information to collect. Maybe you need to just sit and perceive, feel yourself. You know, if you're in situations that trigger up something or that aren't working for you, maybe you just need to listen in and pay attention to how your body's reacting, how your energy's reacting to it, right, before you go. But there's also this sense of slow down. Those are the, the two words that come to mind as soon as this came through. It's like slow down. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to nurture everything into existence. You don't have to be in charge of every single evolution of the process. You know, there's this battle going on with you all because I know you guys can be go-getters. I know you guys can be problem solvers and make things happen. And like, look at the Queen of Pentacles here. Who is a nurturing energy, right? She's very tied to Virgo. Details, slowing down, taking your time planting seeds, being intentional. You know, she does not look like she's in a rush, does she? She is just totally focused on what she has and nurturing that into being, you know, she's a mother archetype. But she's surrounded by these sevens, you know, seven in tarot is a very powerful number because it's it tends to be the number of spiritual growth and evolution. And I find this really interesting when I look at this because, okay, seven of wands, is about competition, the card of higher ground, winning, getting to the top, taking action, being really successful, pushing away the competition, knowing you have this, crushing this, you know, this is like that meme, put my hair up in a bun and crush it out, you know, it's like that kind of energy. And then you have Seven of Cups, which is like Neptunian as can be, Pisces full moon, right? Like, Floating up into fantasy world, imagining what's possible, imagining the scary possibilities, imagining the good possibilities, getting drunk on the idea of fantasy. And yet there's the queen of pentacles in the middle of it all saying, what are you striving for really? What sense of being are you striving for? What are these sevens going to be all about if you don't have that kind of sense of pentacle nurturing? I think there's a lot of energy moving around you, Librans, this month. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities, a lot of open doors, a lot of possibilities for you to use your energy externally. And I think sometimes we can get really caught up in that because it's like, okay, well, I like this person, I like this job, I like this project, I need to move on it, I need to move on it, I need to move on it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But then there's this numbness that comes with that. If that's all your reference points are external to you, right? So, and then sometimes we can get lost with, okay, but what's really true for me now? If all of this is moving around me. And the way you find that answer is in those quiet slowdown points, not the busy speed up points. And you are being asked to trust your intuitive guidance system at a very deep level. High Priestess and Temperance are kind of guardian energies, right? They pull us up into a very high level consciousness. You know, these cards are associated with Pisces and with Sagittarius, and both of those energies are mutable, right? They are mutable energies that are really tied into collective consciousness, into absorbing into a greater whole. They're very philosophical. They're not about the grounding. They're not about forcing things to get done on the ground, right? They dissolve into a much larger macro lens. These cards are also about deep healing with our self-trust. What is riling you up this month? What is getting you so concerned that you need to have the answers and you need to, for, you know, you need to make things happen and you need to know what's going on that is giving you that sense of scarcity and fear? What is it that feels like it's pushing at you and pushing at you to, to store up your granary stores and prepare for a hard winter? Whatever those are, whether it's a, something that's ingrained in your wiring that's coming up for you, or it's a person who's making you feel that, you know, you get that scant little message from them, text message, and you don't know when you're going to get another text message from them, they're going to start triggering in that agricultural revolution thing of let's make sure we have enough food because we know famine's coming. 
You know, the high priestess and temperance for me are like that inner voice, the diving for pearls. That's like, why are you feeling that you need to put all this energy in this, controlling this? Come back home to your center and listen in. Come back home and be with yourself. Please, soul, I beg of you, please be here with me now. There is greater harmony here, right? There's something calling you to shift. Shift something big in your life. Because the final card, maybe it's not the sexiest card, even though it's a six. Maybe it's not, you know, sometimes the six of pentacles can be hard to connect in with, right? Because it's like this rich guy giving, giving to the poor. But let's just like look a little deeper at this, which is that this is another card of balance. You know, funnily enough, Librans, you guys are the card, you are the sign of balance. But I think sometimes we're born into a sign and it's like that's the thing we're learning how to become. So Librans, you know, you're supposed to be these harmonious, rational, balanced, loving, committed people. But like a lot of times you're finding ways to find that balance within yourself in life, right? And so your goal is this harmonious balance. Where are you overgiving? Where are you feeling you have to be in this overdrive mode? You have to be constantly finding answers that you can't find because it's not your job. Where are you finding that you're mystified or underwhelmed? You're getting rebalanced, reharmonized here in the initiating portal of the equinox. Something's triggering you, though, to really look at that this month. That's what I'm noticing with these cards, is that something's making you feel that there is scarcity. Something is making you feel as though you're not worthy. I'm pulling a final card from my Cosmic Tarot as our final note for the day before I give you some Equinox affirmations for your process. Something is awakening that, in, and if there is something that makes you feel hungry, that makes you feel scarcity, that makes you feel fear. Princess of Wands. Okay. You got to tap into your inner fire princess. Um, take a look at that this month. It's not working. It's not letting you sit in your divine presence. It's making you feel less than it's activating the hunger. And when something activates the hunger, it's not working. Princess of Wands is a risk. She's an action taker, right? She is an action taker. She can be impulsive at times. She can be impulsive and she can be a little willful at times. However, she'll take action when she sees that not, something's not working. Knowing that that will not lead to more scarcity down the line, that it will not lead to an emptiness or a nothingness after it's closed out, that in fact, in burning that away and releasing it and letting herself be free, she is giving herself the freedom to welcome in what's really right for her. Balance, right? The fire energy there really makes sense as we initiate into air energy with your sign. Here are your affirmations for that equinox in the beginning of your beautiful season. I hear my inner voice with clarity. I have the tools and resources I need in any given moment. All the information and breakthroughs I need come to me at the perfect moment. I think you are going to have huge breakthroughs this month, and I think anything that is not working for you will be cleansed out by the fire of your own passionate heart and by the clarity of knowing what serves you. But there will also be a lot of unknowns within that, and it's okay to not know and to have all your rations stored up for what you think January needs to be four months from now. Keep that in mind. You can find me on Instagram at Sarah Verba. I would love to see you guys over there. You can also find me on my website, sarahtarot.com, and my email. I'll leave all of that in the description box so you know where to find me. You can also make donations to me so I can make more content. I'll leave that link in the description box as well so you have all of that information. Um, I am going to be working on my fall schedule. I just have not been able to figure out exactly what's going to work yet, so I'm still... So holding off on releasing the new fall appointments, but they will get released. So if you want to be on that list, 
please email me and then I can get you on the list so that you will be notified when those appointments open up and then I you can go and sign up for an appointment that works for you. I'd love to work with you guys. I will leave all of that info in the description box. You have a beautiful September. Happy birthday to the September Librans. I will see you all in October for more Libran energy. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed and beautiful equinox. And I will talk to you very soon.